Well, that was certainly interesting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've, been, trying to... I've been enjoying the, the thought of those coming by. I do like the music choice for sure. I thought that was a good choice. Uh, it's it like really hype. It goes da 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 da. In those country <laughs> rolls, it's like. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I thought they were pretty good. And of course, as always, you know, we are uh, looking forward to some good old country roll dubs, hopefully, eventually. You would hope. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it looks pretty exciting, uh, pretty good. I want to check it out. Like I said, I, when I first uh, showed you the trailer, um, it looked interesting. So, yeah, I'll take a watch. I definitely just surprised it got to him because it's one of those things that was not – it was, like, high on my list of hopes but not on at all on my list of, like, things that I thought would happen anytime soon. And then, obviously, it happens, so mm – -hmm. which is really awesome because it deserves it, in my opinion. And then, like I said, seeing – because those came out, then you get a lot of uh, – what's the word uh like you get to see the people who were like not talking about it before but were you know mm -hmm. part of it actually talk about it and so so which one are you looking forward to from those ones if you were um I, honestly just your tower of god one uh from everyone that you know from work from you Fair. um that's always talked about it so it's just like i, I okay i'm gonna have to i think that's the first thing i'm about to check out is, like you shouldn't and that's i tell people this all the time just like you shouldn't let it yourself be overhyped you know it's it's good yeah. and it's well, absolutely a good one but it's not like it's not the best thing ever or anything yeah it's just that's like, what my friends just over obsessed with though too yeah, right no, now no, you, just... yeah and that's what i try not to like and i really like tower of god but i'm not super always up to date with it right i let it get 30 chapters ahead and then i read 30 chapters and then i get those chapters, yeah. 30 chapters so like i think the last chapter i did was like it's called the train arc or it was a little after the train arc and it's like a big skip of a big show of like power for one of the characters or whatever it's and it's a cool arc there's always something like interesting they got this whole you know universe constructed around this concept of the tower and so it, you know it just has i like worlds like that and it's funny because i was just talking about another concept one that i had made with someone where it's a whole universe concept and i think those are some of the best because like then when you have that universal concept or the world concept like my hero is another good example of like a good base concept of which then they built a very unique and dynamic universe around it. It's like, okay, well, suddenly everybody has superpowers. And what would that, what yeah. would that do to the world? And then they yeah. just went from there in a more, you know, granted still somewhat, I don't know. I think it's fairly realistic in its scope. And then just with a little bit of altruism and hopefulness put into it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But so. o overall, oh. yeah, I, I think that they'll be decent. And, uh, we really defaulted that to that, like we said, because we didn't really have anything else we could think of. <laughs> you were, out, yeah, I mean, know? with everything that's happening, yeah, I mean, all the yeah. all the movies getting pulled back and then production yes. being halted is, on a lot of movies. Which is actually the title of our thing starts with, you know, uh, the coronavirus in the industry. And oh. so those things that are like, yeah, yeah. so it's a good thing. To I mean, about. it's a, I'm, it's a good move on everyone's part, I think. Um, you know, I think it's more of the safe than sorry kind of thing and just trying to... I definitely am okay with uh, <laughs> taking precautions. The thing is, these precautions that... There's levels. Like, you should always be taking the appropriate levels of precautions against germs. You should always be washing your hands and you should always no. be... You know what I mean? These are things that should naturally always be done. The things mm -hmm. that people are doing in ridiculous amounts, in my opinion, are hoarding of things and supplies, which is totally... One unnecessary and two unusual. Yeah, that's a little overboard. There's, I mean, I understand getting like a few things to last there, you for yeah, maybe a week but or two, there's, but, there's, but there's like there's people getting and things. Then there's yeah, hoarding. yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's people hoarding. <laughs> yeah, and hoarding, and then hoarding to sell. Even some people not even hoarding out of fear of the virus. Yeah, did you see that guy who uh, was gouging on Amazon? I guess they bought a bunch of stuff and Girl, Amazon. Yeah. Uh, stopped uh, price gouging on their website and this guy was left with like a bunch of uh Perel and yeah. everything like, the other thing is he's not actually allowed to sell those in large quantities because it has alcohol in it so the ATF ah, will get oh, okay him. but uh yeah i someone else had told me about that there's so many things and that's my thing yeah, that's my issue with this um, is that the i feel like well it's nice to take precautions i think the media and social media even more so has blown it out of proportion to what it is. Is it a virus scare? Yes, similar to every virus scare we've had every year for the last 20 years. So yes, 
take your precautions. It's flu season, it's swine flu season, then bird flu season, then, then Zika virus. But even talking about that, we have more deadly viruses affecting us. Like, what's every every couple of years? Uh, what's the one? Because I just looked up the list. It starts with an O. That they're always. It's always coming back. Uh, come on. I can't think of it. I can't. It's it's a super common one. Ebola. Ebola is always the one where it's like every mm. couple of years Ebola is back. Oh. And obviously I'm not trying to compare these to those because every virus and every disease is different and needs mm -hmm. to be researched and accorded and accorded scientifically yeah. by the scientific community. And do you know what the scientific community has suggested for this virus? Wash your hands. Just, yeah, wash keep, your hands. Keep, keep, to, keep yeah. don't cough on people. Try to stay away from larger gatherings if you can. Yeah, that's Which, the only, that's the only thing you know. You we, that's I think what's stopping a lot of these movies and production. It's just the, the gathering but, but of the people. Thing you know, is, large. The thing is, that's on the people though. That should be especially in an American set thing. Like, and obviously, I guess on the providers themselves. But like, personally, I'm of the thing where like I'm a very healthy person. I take care of myself. Were I to show signs, I'm going to go and get treatment or help, or at least take the proper precautions. Because this thing, it's not like if you get treatment, there's a cure or anything. There's absolutely no cure for this, which is one no. Of the you just things. have to take over the counter medicine yep, and antibiotics, just... probiotics, etc. To, to be healthy, as you should regularly. You know what I mean? And that's what gets me mm -hmm. is like I hate fear mongering. I like the appropriate spread of information and consciousness of how we should be living healthy. You really shouldn't shake that many people's hands. It's not a very. It's an outdated idea you know what i mean that spreads germs to people's hands i love the idea did you see the one where they're like let's replace the handshake with the uh, wakanda salute oh yeah i've seen that one <laughs> I'm, at, I'm okay with that because it's practical and it's not necessarily fear mongering that's just a practical way to reduce the spread of germs and realistically let's i mean i just what's the point of a handshake in practical terms yeah. you know what i mean I yeah, I think more people just need to be more less worried about themselves and then just worried about more of uh, the, trying not to spread it to the elderly. And, elderly is a big concern. And, uh, the infirm, and then the immune. Sick. Yep, anyone who's got an immunodeficiency or a sickness of any kind, really, like any, any, that's the thing. The, in, even in the case of other viruses that are deadly, it's usually not the virus itself that kills you. It's the virus weakens you and then you die to secondary symptoms. Or secondary infections and sec, you know what I mean, and mm -hmm. that's where these even even when it were there were <sighs> pandemics in the 1917s, that is what happened. You would get sick from influenza, and then you would die from infection, or you would die mm -hmm. from you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And so we're like you said, we're taking appropriate measures ahead of time. Yeah, no, that that's good, and I I think we need to do that because I feel bad for really Italy right now with their whole situation and. But, the thing uh, people got to remember with Italy, though, is Italy went through an economic collapse recently. Yeah, no, they that's that's have... what I'm saying. This isn't helping. Yeah, this is no, definitely not well, helping. Well, with... but because of the economic collapse, their healthcare industry and their infrastructure and their healthcare is not as well developed as it should be oh, or is in yeah. other countries. And so they're feeling the effects of it quite heavily. You know what I mean? Yes, and yes. The same so, as high population areas like Wuzhang and... You know what I mean? Or Wuling, China, and everywhere. Oh, you mean Wuhan? Wuhan, sorry. The, yeah, there's that's another, the one. Uh, there's more yeah. counties and stuff, too. That are yeah, and then I just, the other thing, too, we got to stop doing the, just because it came from Wuhan, it's got to oh be my God, Chinese yeah. thing. The thing is, but the that, original I mean, that's, diagnosis from this isn't even from Wuhan, I don't think. I think that's just where the spread, like. Well, the they're thing. saying it's more because of the the markets out there and the blood trails that out, you know, because how people don't really, aren't very sanitized out there with, you know, just chopping animals out in the open. I mean, and, there's all kinds of things that it could be from various different things. Yeah. I'm sure, if, like, the thing is, until, and this is always my thing, until study's been done and then double-checked by 20 people, you know what I mean? I, I can't take it. I can, I can take yeah. evidence yeah. and data, but until, you know, before that, it's all just presumption. You know what I mean? Yeah. We presume gonna, it came from here and it came from that. But it's going to be a little bit of time. Yep. But it could be from, you know, someone doesn't wash their hands or a rare mutated form of another. You know what I mean? The, 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 
possibilities are around, and the more important part, like you said, is that we just maintain general cleanliness and healthy practices anyway. Yeah. That is what eliminates these kinds. That's how that in vaccination is how these things have become eliminated over time, as well as herd immunity. But the thing about herd immunity is you can only get your immunity through interaction. That's how you get rid of mm -hmm. chicken pox, is everybody gets chicken pox as a kid. Yeah, and then you never get it again. Right, and so there are certain diseases that should be done in different ways like that. I'm almost, I, especially if the research is done that this is not a harmful thing to children, it could end up in the same vein as chicken pox, where if you get it younger and gain the immunity to it, you yeah, then that as would an be, elder. That, I'm just that saying be, that is a theoretical yeah. thing. I'm not yeah. postulating that that is what is going to happen or that any signs have led to that for anyone watching. I'm just saying that that is any, you know what I mean? That happens. There are cases for that. And so you cannot eliminate the, any ideas of anything because once again, the mortality rate for the chicken pox in adults is like high as shit. Ooh. I, I don't Jesus. know how high it is actually, but comparatively, you know what I mean? To the, mortality rate as children it is high as shit i almost want to look so, this up Pick chicken pox. i mean so other than that i mean it, it is kind of suckish that a lot it, of things are being canceled so like, but... i don't get why movie production like i know there are certain large groups of movie but then wouldn't isn't the cold point of that then you make sure you're not infected right you're not in china or whatever i guess maybe the shooting maybe maybe it's because of what happened to tom hanks and his wife because they were supposedly on set in australia same thing they were shooting for a movie for an elvis presley movie i guess i didn't even know they were doing that um uh, but um yeah they were saying that they contracted it over there and i don't know if that maybe that's the fear of just because they also got it from just doing a movie and now other people i don't know maybe other actors are right. like and, i don't want to do like, anything because yeah. now i i my who knows? thing is you know, i wonder knows? is maybe it's the production companies <laughs> maybe they're there are a lot of production companies based in some of these areas and they're like being hit heavy. That, that, yeah, that could be it too. But even I mean, beyond that, I mean, now that it's hitting us here and we're going into lockdown every, you know, my, my brother and my friend who are just both here, both off for two or three weeks from work paid, thank goodness, because they work for the that's city. Good. But if they didn't work for the city, they might be off and not be getting paid. I'm yeah. surprised I'm working, but it's only because I'm in a food industry. Yeah, and, and they, they that one's got to gotta, yeah, they got to keep going which with is, that one. Which is so funny to me because if any th industry was dangerous or in danger of becoming an infectious uh, epicenter, that'd be the one most yes, most likely. Yeah, one, <laughs> all you would need is one sick worker and one and one day of not having the right uh, yeah. you know, precautions taken. So, you know, one person yeah. missed the check or they didn't wash it at one store, and suddenly, boom, ten thousand people infected, or some number. I'm sure it's not that high, but yeah. But it, it very much I mean, could, yeah. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, within the next two, two, I'm gonna say two to three months, yeah. we'll see. The, what's gonna the happen. thing is, I'm not the gonna very optimistic right now just the yet. The problem is, I think the fear mongering is gonna make it last longer than that. Yeah. But that it really shouldn't, because by the time warm weather hits, once seventy or eighty degree weather hits, this virus is not able to exist in that kind of weather, or adequate, or um, spread well in that kind of weather. Mm -hmm. Much like other respiratory viruses, it thrives in cold weather climates. Um, yeah, well, uh, well, and then hopefully then by then uh, people will start hearing uh, new uh, science. new production dates and new uh, – especially – I was so excited for New Mutants. After ah, seeing that new trailer, yeah, trailer that new trailer so with fire. magic and her sword and then ah. the oh, – and then the dragon. Did you see the, the dragon? Yay. Is the dragon in there? Yeah, the I was like Lockheed. Lockheed. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, come I didn't point so, him. I didn't point him out in our first one, but I do remember seeing him in my first watch through, and I was like, yeah, they put it. Dude, they did amazing, and like the accuracy is so important for it that they keep it, and they did so good. All the characters yeah. are like character accurate to their original. They did change up. It seems like maybe some of their origins to be a little darker. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I burn this chick. Be that more horror story kind right. of they're going for it. But the the essential characters are the same. Their imagery is the same. Like dude, Sunfire for me was a big one, especially how early they are really in that production. I assume for the finalization of the VFX, just to mm -hmm. have him really look like Sunfire, like this black mass with like a fire around him, which is such a hard thing I think to do visually. Uh. And I think they yeah, with the black kind of innered instead. Yeah, yeah like, usually mm -hmm. it's a very much just total fire. You know what I mean? Everything's yeah, yeah. Right. 
It's like human better. torch kind of thing. Yes, yes. Um, and that's usually just always how it's depicted. But his one is basically supposed to be that with sunspot, so it's supposed to be the dark spot of the sun or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's they did a really good job. Uh, also, the big names don't hurt. Like the the one dude I think is absolutely from American Horror Story, uh, the guy kid playing Cannonball. Oh, okay, okay. I and, didn't. Yeah, I haven't watched American Horror Story, so I didn't. Ch- I didn't see the, that actor. I'm pretty sure that, or he. I'm pretty sure he, that's where he's from. That, or it's from. Uh, now, yeah, he's got to be American Horror Story because you would know if he was from fucking Stranger Things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely would. Yeah, um, he's not, but I, I'm pretty sure it's American Horror Story, and then obviously Arya from uh, Game of Thrones or whatever is uh, Wolf's Bane. Which I think is actually such a good fit because Wolf's Bane is kind of, that's such a tortured character, you know what I mean? But, but who's yeah. also like that violent, and so she already has experience now. Granted, this looks like it was filmed back when she was doing those because she looks really young in these. Shows. Yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I, ho- I hope they give us some new release dates for these because, like I said, I was really excited for New Mutants now, and then it got pushed back again. This again. is probably like what the third time. Third. Is at it the least. third? Yeah, at I think. least the third. And that's just official. We don't know about behind the scenes stuff where it's been uh-huh. like pushed back originally or anything. Just, that's just yeah. to us, the public, like, all right, April, we got this. Nope. All right, next year, we got the. Okay, well, there was a virus. We go, we'll, get, we'll get back to you. <laughs> so when is that it one. Now? When is it coming? Um, you know, they didn't. They haven't put no release dates the, yet. What was the one it was going to come out, though? April? Which one? Which mean? Oh, well, so it was supposed to come out April, the beginning of April. I, I thought. knew it, and it was supposed to be my birthday movie. Ah, yep. damn it! Now supposed I only have God. Well, at least I get Tower of God. That's supposed to come out right around April again. So. <laughs> yeah, and then that uh, was that then was Mulan to be what I was, was supposed watch. to come out the end of this month. And I wanted to see that one too because it looks. And like then I, I I don't know is Antlers part of the Disney company because somebody put that under the because they were like three Disney movies got canceled and it was like Mulan New Mutants and then they put Antlers and I was like yes. Antlers and I was like I don't think that's under the same maybe they're I don't know hmm I, I didn't see who I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up uh Antlers movie right it's the one that Guillermo del Toro's doing. It looks pretty good. It's like a horror movie. That's why I was like, I don't think they would do that one. Maybe they just put it... I don't know. Maybe they just got it wrong. Searchlight Pictures. Unless it's bought by Fox, if Fox is the one that did it. Yeah. Disney Studios is the the parent company. It's just done by one of the subsidiaries. Oh, okay. See, that's what it is. That's that's different. I feel like that's 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 like... It's like your kids doing something. You can't be held responsible for what your kids do. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, that was another one, too, I was excited for. The Antlers trailer. It looked uh, really I hadn't really stuff. checked it, but just looking at the still that I saw from the uh, footage there, it looked pretty good. He's just, like, covered in gore, and you're, like, looking up or some shit. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, it. It. I don't know why, but the, the name reminds me of the Kevin Smith movie Tusk. Oh my gosh, that I love that movie. I think that's the only one time watch though for me. <laughs> it, it, Tusk is very much one of those really b- bad good movies or good bad movies. You know what I mean? It's it's really that one time to watch it so you can see the story one time and then you never want to watch it again because it was just awful no. to watch. But yeah, it's, and and it's it's funny because my dad hates that one too, and I'm like, I get it, but like the whole point is that it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Like, it, Oh, oh yeah, god. the whole walrus thing. It's like thing. the fly on steroids. Oh my god, yes, dude. And I don't even know any. You know my favorite part about that movie is, it, is it has Justin Long as the star. No, oh, oh right, yeah. That's why I, I was like, oh, Justin, St- what's he doing in here? And then they, yeah, they turned him into a walrus. <laughs> the the ending scene, like the end scene, was just like ridiculous i i just oh my gosh i couldn't believe that like how they even did the whole prosthetics of everything oh, and he yeah, was yeah. like oh, what did you do to me he can't even move anymore it's just like just like all sewn together down here yeah it was right, pretty like, up. it was it was a good that's the thing it was a good maybe not even a horror <laughs> movie but like it's a good comedy horror i would say that i think that's a good comedy but it's horror because it I is like, disturbing like at times yeah, you're like is. that's fucked up man like thinking about yeah. it, that's really fucked up man yeah but like especially like the way it ends and everything but at the same time you just can't stop yourself from laughing like wow oh yeah 
Just I can't believe that it, Kevin Smith did this movie, but he wanted to do it. Dude, so the there thing is, Kevin Smith is the guy who does whatever movie he wants to do. Let's be honest, because Yoga yeah. Hosers is kind of similar, except for it's not as good as Tusk, and it's just kind of like rough to watch. Uh huh. It's it's all right. <laughs> Oh At the gosh. same time, the new Jay and Silent Bob movie came out. I I, I have to check it out still, same. but I say, I've um, it's a good Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, movie. it's a good like you know just with what they're the known thing for. Is, like his best movie in my opinion ever was Dogma. I like Dogma. I I always like Mallrats though. I like I like Mallrats, but Mallrats is very much like for me that kind of run of the mill everyday life movie. Yeah. And so that it was but it's think, very basic for me in that. I think I liked it because it was more I guess uh applied to us comic more people, nerd yeah. comic guy. It, it definitely so, is. And there's no movies like that for I us do. really. I so. think, and the reason I like Dogma is cuz it's one of the few religious comedy movies that is like yeah. both extremely hilarious and a very profound as well. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in quite a while. I should see that. You know which it's, one I haven't seen from him is uh Chasing Amy. Really? You haven't seen Chasing Amy? I've never seen Chasing it's his, Amy. It's like classic love story, but it's a comedy I love know, story. I know, that's so why I wanted like, to see it. It's I've not always bad. It's got uh, it Ryan whatever whatever Brody in it. Okay. So it's he's like the one and then you got Amy and then obviously Jay and Simon Bob are in there for the comedy relief. It's it's <laughs> interesting. It's good. Um I don't know. I really like. I think the view, his universe or whatever, is pretty good. I on obviously Clerks is gonna be and Jay and Silent Bobber is number one hits forever. Those are just his cult classics. I always, I always like Clerks too. Clerks one was really funny too though. But I, Clerks I, I don't one know. was Clerks. once again more of that like it's like a piece of unto itself. It's it's a mind thing and it's like a Sundance film. You know what I mean? It's an yeah. independent film. Clerks two yeah. is a movie, but it's done with the style of Clerks one and just like done mm-hmm. and hilarious. I like Clerks 2 because it's basically kind of a continuation of the Clerks TV show, which was like an animated TV show that only had like four or six Oh, episodes. yeah, they did do an animated show. I, I did see I that. I found it at like some local video store, and ever since then, I keep, I found, you know, I found some digital copies you know, of it. You know what I didn't know they made a TV show of, and I just seen too, uh, was a Freddy, they did a Freddy Krueger show back I in did, the 80s. I did know that. I don't know how long it ran, but I did know that because my mom likes Freddy Krueger, and she told yeah. me about that. I think it it wasn't that many episodes, but they, um, I watched like the first episode just to see, and it, it, it I mean, it's okay for what they could do back in the right. 80s and on I think TV. That's the, thing. I, that's the thing. There's always limitations and restrictions, and most of those have been lifted now thanks to live streaming on the internet. Or, you know, I think Walking Dead internet. really pushed the boundaries, though, they, with that kind of They did, but they got pushed back for it. Just like we always do. You know what I mean? They got so much hate, like letters and shit for that one Glenn scene that they will never do that again. I guarantee you. That was perfect, though. It was. That was absolutely <laughs> one of the best uh, comic to TV transitions yeah, like, ever. Re- yeah, like, like comic word for accurate. Word, yeah. Image for image, that was almost 100, with the exception of the fact that Abraham was there and like some of the surrounding yeah. details. It was him literally, getting, what- yeah, it was literally word for word, image for image, comic to thing. It was amazing. Like watching that as a comic fan made me want to go back and watch The Walking Dead again. I had stopped watching because I was like mad, but then I went back, read the comic, and watched that again. And that came out while I was like catching up and getting to the same part. Like I just read that maybe a month before they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna release this, and it's gonna be." gonna be doing they showed the scene i was like yes i can't believe i i was like they because in my head i was like there's no way they can do that there's no way they're gonna do that there's like that (laughs) dude his his like eyes were like popping out of it you know what i mean it was buff it was rough it was was, great yeah and they did a great job like with the uh the the uh i not virtual effects the practical effects were amazing yeah greg greg nicotero is pretty good yeah i like his work so they did do a little graphic on top of it, but you have to. Yeah, for just a time. little bit. Yeah, to make it a little cleaner. Yeah, more gross. Yeah. But I, I like that. Yeah, that, that was good. Um, we're still watching Walking Dead. I, I mean, I have it's to stop okay. Again I'm, I'm they hoping just they just moving. ended already, honestly. They ended the comic. Yeah, they did already. And, and actually, actually, I still actually need to finish bad. the book. <laughs> it's not bad. I will say it is a bit sudden, so it doesn't feel like a well-made ending, but it does feel natural. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel natural, but it feels it, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I've heard people just that. I've heard people just say it's more of just like that ending where you just kind of take it as like, OK, that's it. That's where they left off and their their journey kind of yeah. price still continues. And but that's this is where the story ends for you guys. Yeah, it's like whether or not the story goes and it happens, that's beyond us. I mean, this is this is the end. 
That's I mean, why I like could... stories with narrators, like conscientious mm-hmm. narrators. Oh, because yeah. Because when the narrator me. dies, that's when the story ends. You know what I mean? That's the end of yeah. the story. And then it's like, that was the last I ever bled. <laughs> or, you know, there's other things, you know, the whole world gets destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but <laughs> no, those are good. I, I don't know. I've been enjoying a lot of the adaption stuff the boys obviously was pretty good oh I'm forward to the boys two. i love the boys dude the season boys two is good. gonna be like they I, said it's gonna be even dude, more I'd gruesome seeing the trailer, than it was you can tell like i showed the homie and he's like dude that was fucked up that fucked me up and i was like yeah <laughs> and was like, and that's just the trailer dude and like that you didn't even get to see the context i guarantee you the context of that scene is way worse than just the scene like he says or does something all fucked up before he does that i guarantee you yeah yeah i mean if he really wants to get his mind messed up tell him to read the book because the book oh even dude it's far up, the yeah. limits. <laughs> dude, it was, i don't know i feel like the book was it did push limits but because it's in the comic style and they they even though it pushed limits there were some things that were and weren't shown so like the whole thing with homelander eating the family is only like touched on they never show that straight out like you see little Mm -hmm. like clips and pictures of photos of it but they don't do the whole scene and it wasn't him and he was blackmar obviously but yeah but they never actually show that they're like some of the stuff they've i they've shown in the show already kind of like outgrew some some of the stuff they've shown in the uh shown in the comic and when I say shown, I mean like outright shown as opposed to alluded to or like mm-hmm. heavily well, like. Covered. I heard there's a few things they couldn't show from the book that they that the, the you know production team's like no 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 you cannot put that on the show. I mean <laughs> That's I'm sure they did, but bad. it might not be like. It, like I said, this last scene. I mean, there's that know. scene where where what's her name when they have to and I guess initiate uh, what's her name um, st- is a star. What's yes, it? and uh, that's but once again, it's the same in the uh, they changed it, but it's the same in the show. It's the same. And it's the they same don't in the show. show it in either one. They don't really show no, it. No, they don't. It's like they don't a really scene show it. Ever. And then they allude off, and in the show, they just don't show it. You know what I mean? It's like off screen. But it's really very similar to that in the comic where it's kind of like yeah. seen from a screen off panel or mm-hmm. shown for one panel. No, they don't go through the whole scene. Uh, whereas, like, you have that whole thing with the deep uh, in the show. Oh, where, yeah. Which yeah, is all weird yeah. with his gills and shit, That's, which is funny. I thought that some was kind of just weird. I thought it was, part. but some people thought it was funny. <laughs> but it was a little... It was a little disturbing. That's what yeah, I said. Not disturbing, weird. Disturbing. It, was just it makes like, you go, why eh, did you like, put eh. that scene in there? It makes you cringe. It's like cringeworthy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what that I guess really they were just like, yeah, they were just like, hey, you guys want to know what's under here? Mm, this is what's under here. Oh, yeah. And this chick, yeah, she's going to play with it. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to play with it. I'm like, mm, I don't like this part, yeah. but okay. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was something that I wasn't 100% uh, down for. And it's funny because it's not in there at all because he's a totally different character in the comic, obviously. Yeah, he's but the totally comics different. are the comics are great. I love the comics, and and I like I said, it's amazing to me how they were able to stick to the like soul of the comic without while changing the story so heavily. Yeah, yeah. Like a There's lot a of few things, things the changed, but like you said, everything is pretty much the same of yeah. what the story really, is in the, the book. It's really the details. Like everything is basically the same. Like the characters, for the most part, with a couple exceptions, are the same kind of characters and personalities. It's just the details surrounding some of the situations have changed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the the boys are more of a, not like a because in the in the comic they're more of like he t- tells them in the beginning like they're a CIA group or something right like yes, a special they, and they are but they're like an offshoot that's not really kind of sanctioned but is yeah and, and then the, in don't the, forget the superpowers the sto- yeah thing and there's yeah. a lot of different stuff that you do and don't know from different areas of those and that that they cover. Um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it is basically the same of what they're going. I uh, almost wish that. See, that's one of those video series I want to make for a channel, but I just don't have the time. Is to do you know <laughs> differences between the show comic. and the comic. Oh, you know what cool. I mean? Yeah. Because it would be it would be nice, and obviously I'd probably miss some, and people would bitch. But that's the whole point of making a video. So <laughs> yeah. So. Well, so then since we've been kind of not uh, been on lockdown a little bit, somewhat of a lockdown. Yeah. Uh, what, have, what have you been reading then so so, uh, so far? Oh, I, I need to catch up. I really, 
I've been working. Like, I had like 11. Uh, <laughs> because everyone's on lockdown and I work in food, they ordered a shit ton of extra food. So I did oh, like I double okay. numbers yesterday. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. I really haven't been able to read much of anything. And actually, the stuff I have been reading is my manga. Oh, there, okay. I was, because I got to talking with the Crunchyroll stuff in my uh, Discord group, they're like, oh. they're like, oh, this is great. You should check this out. And I'm like, I told you about this months ago, years. <laughs> and they're like, really? And I pulled up the actual Discord post, and they're like, well, what else did you tell me about? And I'm like, I have a list. Let me go I have a list of list. things you should have done. <laughs> it's, like a, it's just like a list of manga because I read so much of it and have read so much of it that like my manga list is almost as long as my comic list or longer. And uh, I've read them several times sometimes because I was waiting for them. So, like, uh, the ones that I keep telling people to read, let's see if I can get into. There's the Korean ones, obviously, Tower of God, God of High School. But other ones are Red Storm and uh, Peerless Martial Arts Dad. Cause those Ooh, that are sounds a, good. They're cool because they're in a connected universe. Where hmm, okay. They, yeah, it, it's interesting. See, and that's that's one thing. Like I said, that Korean uh, does a little bit different than Japanese, where I they. Think that one is actually. No, is it Japanese? Be, no, I don't know where it is because it. I'm not sure where it's from because it seems like it does do the Korean style. But there's other ones. I mean, they're doing the solo leveling one is coming out, uh, supposedly after this. But that one's not as good as uh, the other one, which is. Oh God, there's another one that's even better than solo leveling warrior where he was like cast downing to nothing and he has to like steal powers from this god or something i mm. was that that's not shield hero is it that might be shield hero maybe I, i've i've heard of that one too i wanted shield to see Heroes, that one shield hero is really good and i recommended that one before i always recommend them before they come become animes though and that's yeah. why no one ever listens is they're like well i don't want to read like, i know that's God that's the thing and, and my reason is i have other i have too much other stuff to oh, read so i, I, I do too it but it just gets me what really gets me is like i said when i recommend them and then like you should check this out i'm like i told you that years <laughs> ago years uh fire punch that one is probably one of my favorites uh the art is not super amazing it's like some very kind of simplistic line art tales of demons and demons and gods uh yeah, see, like I had done Tata no Yusha. The, the other problem is I'm always giving in the Japanese names because I read them, you know, at the website. <laughs> Not when they. Come well, out. did um, did you see that new comic that Scotty Young came out with for Marvel, that uh, Strange Academy? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, let, me, let me see. I got it actually right here. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's this one right here. Oh, World Customized Creator is another good one. I forgot about that one. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, you should, uh, yeah, you should check it out. It's I, not a good, you like, told seven. You it was kind of like a uh, X-Men, right? No, it's almost like Harry Potter. Really? <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, because Doctor's it's like Doctor Strange's first uh, school he makes, right? And they're just getting all these new oh, uh, characters. Okay. I thought it was they're an original like, run. I, I was like, okay. Yeah, this is sense. basically yeah, original. If you have new new set of characters, there's even Dar Darmamu's uh, son right there now. There's a big giant frost giant. Um, this is like a human slash fairy type person. Um, these two are brothers. They're from Asgard. Um, this one is from the uh, fuck. Where is it? Uh, where the you know where the dinosaurs and all the other. Yeah, Savage Land. Yeah, he comes from the Savage Land. Diamond, this Savage one's like a Savage. demon of some sort. Um, hers, hers is Bright. Some I forgot her name. Bright Burn or something. Um, this is uh, you know that who that is? That's Zelma from uh, yeah, Doctor Strange's run. Yeah, so she's in there. Um, but yeah, it's basically just uh, them trying to recruit a bunch of kids, and then them being uh, here going to the school now here, being normal kids trying to learn their powers or their magic. So uh, it's pretty interesting. It looks like a fun read, and Scotty Young's reading it, so or writing it. I mean, so I like his stuff. Yeah, there's a couple more scenes. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, check that one out. 
whenever you can. That one. I definitely will. I, for some reason, I thought it was like a uh, original universe one, but now that that makes sense with with the title Strange Academy now. Yeah, yeah. But it just threw me off at first. I was like, is this another one of those independent ones that I didn't hear about for some reason? <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's good. I liked it. It was a fun oh, read. Sounds dope. Uh, I've always loved um, to read more strange stuff. I fucking love that Wolverine cover, man. That shit is so dope. The one oh, I know. I'm so happy I got it. Yeah, I I oh, and I was uh, it's because I joined this group called Frankies. You should try to check them out too. But they're uh, I, they're they're Frankies comics, and then they have like an extra special group that they join in there. And uh, he got like I guess ten copies of those at the Chicago Comic Con. He's like, hey guys, I'll sell them right now for fifty five. And I was like, eh, I don't know. And then I thought about it. I was like, no, I want that cover. And I, it's I, a I, good cover. I, I couldn't pick it up because I'm not a like I love the entire concept, but I feel like the arm is too realistic. Yeah, I know, right? He's got. Did the, you, he's got is that not arm. all right? So it wasn't just me. All right, cool. He's got the, I thought he's got I was the, being a little. The, bit. The real hairy yeah. arm, yeah. And I'm sure some yeah. people really like that part about it. But for me, I'm just like, I wish it was a little more comic-y right there and it would be perfect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that this book went up to like already now 150. Oh yeah, on. dude. I'm sure it'll be more than that too because Wolverine's super popular and that cover yeah. is super dope. Like the, just the whole idea, it's a really good idea. And yeah, honestly, I like you it. could do a whole series like that with characters. Yeah, no, the, the guy um, who does this, John, Chris, uh, John Tyler Christopher, he uh he's done a bunch of other exclusives of a bunch of other cons. So like the other one he did last year, San Diego Comic Con, and he did uh you could probably look it up. It's Rogue, and he did like instead of the yellow, he did it all green, right. and it was just Rogue's face with like her green outfit, and then she had like the white stripes in her outfit a little bit, and it was just her face with the green background and everything. So that I'll was cool. To- and it- definitely he did another one too for spider woman and it was all red and then she you know she had the yellow with the black a little bit and then yeah that was cool too so yeah, yeah. you should check him out like a couple said, he of those, definitely like do a, like a style for that so it's a cool it's a cool design um this one and then i picked this up too which was pretty hot last week it was a uh one out of 50 they did this star wars uh did you read the check this out i guess they did a bounty hunter yeah book yeah you didn't you didn't check out the bounty hunters one I actually didn't read it. I just bought it's this because so it's the hop. It's so good. It, it's, it's just one of those ones. I like how they have Boba on that, even though he's not in there. Um, <laughs> right. It's a new uh, a new character, right? There's a new uh, bounty hunter in this one or what? Yes. I think this is the one I was looking for. I can't tell if this is the one I'm looking for, but it looks kind of like it. Oh shit! Because I was looking for that manga I was telling you, but I thought it was Shield Hero, but it's not, and that's why I can never find these again. Is because they're always in Japanese titles. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. No, this isn't it either. Although this is one that I was actually recommended to read, and that you should read, called "Healing Magicians Can Out Fight Alone." <laughs> I'll check that out. Um. You know what else I was reading was um, the new um, the Death to Army of Darkness from Dynamite Comics. Uh, oh yes, I did see. And it, I didn't read. Yeah, it, I didn't it, see the cover. it introduces a female Ash, I, and a female dog of him, or not female, though, but the dog version of him and a skeleton version of him. <laughs> That and then um, you like Jonathan Hickman, right? You like all his stuff oh, that he yeah. does. Oh yeah, Hickman's great. Well, did you see his new book? He just came out with this uh, last week. It was De- uh, Decorum, I think. I it's about um. Here, I'll read you the. There are many assassins in the known universe. This is the story of the uh, most well-mannered one. Manners are a sensitive awareness of the feelings of others. If you have the awareness, you have good manners, no matter what knife you use. Um. So yeah, it's just about uh, he's doing a book about uh, assassins, so I'm uh, checking that out for sure. I think I finally found it. It's called the Dungeon Seeker. God damn. Dungeon Seeker. Okay. Dungeon Seeker. Uh, Lloyd, like the ancient golden era, belongs to the dreams of a summon summon to a different world by a woman god. Summon heroes of truth to save thought, but it turns out dreams are accepted even worse than the average farmer. Yes, tracked into the death labyrinth. I gotta go back to reading this. This one's so good. It's like, it's like Tatsu no Yushu. It's the Shield Hero on steroids. It's so much better. <laughs> like the way the villain, like, oh, I can't. It's like, I gotta tell that group so no one fucking. Have you been uh, reading Daredevil as well? 
Uh, I have not, unfortunately. I'm like two weeks behind on that. I oh, think. that one? Okay. Yeah, that one. And then they came out with, uh, I still gotta read that Spider-Man Noir that came out last week. I like those kind of books, like that noir, uh, noir style type style books. I do like the noir. The noir are amazing. They always end up doing a really good job. <clears throat> and I think it's because it's done in a style. You know what I mean? So they like mm -hmm. they've creatively like set themselves in a tone. So falling out of it is like easy. Have you been reading Ant Man? <laughs> no, not <laughs> the little at all. mini series. No. It's been pretty fun to read. He's got um. The the story was at first he's supposed to help the bee population because they're disappeared randomly and then he That's goes, cool. it's swarm cool. supposedly swarm is involved but then swarm is afraid of some other um, insect like person. Uh, insect people. There's three of them. There's oh, actually wow. four of them. There's one that like is a bunch of beetles. One that they call like the, the the I have to look them all up for you but there's like the wasp like a bunch of yeah wasps. Another one that's like a bunch of like slugs or I don't know. It's weird. I like you the slugs and out. the beetles. I feel like the wasps are a bit derivative, but yeah. Then again, then again the whole concept is derivative. So like, but, I, um, but I like it. It's themed. It's toned. It gives Swarm something to do. Cause yeah, let's be yeah. honest. The, He's just the a Nazi, Nazi beehive guy. <laughs> did not have a lot of like. It, there was not a lot but, uh, going on with him. I guess what happens is that uh, the same whatever thing that got him to get his powers happened to this, these bugs. Cause they're, and I guess what's funny is that they, there's like ironic is that he's not a pure blood. So they're, they're trying to after him in the beginning, like, hey, because you're not full instinct, you're not a pure blood. Because <laughs> you're part human, part instinct. And that's kind of like, mm, well, you're a Nazi. Wasn't that what you were fighting for in the first place? Was for pure blooded. Um, I, or whatever they want to say, white people. But uh, I thought that was pretty funny. So they, uh, that, and then after that, they um, they go after Ant Man because then they find out he has the pin particles and they they uh, could use them. Right to do things. So I, yeah, that, so that, that I, sounds like a cool one. I just like the idea of involving the bees. It's really conscientious and it's a real topic. Like some of the best parts about comics were that they were semi real. It was science fiction. It wasn't total fiction. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was some relatable parts, and I think that's the cool thing. Once again, I just like the fact they're using Swarm because they're never going to use the Nazi B guy. I mean, like, you can't really use him too much for anything, right? <laughs> but uh, I, I think they're, that we're on like a little period. Like Everything in the, in the, has been going well for the comics, too, but I'm wondering how the comic industry might be affected by this as well. well Obviously, the Comic-Cons are being you know, canceled. Yeah, postponed. those are all being and that's canceled. Gonna be, that's actually going to be pretty rough because some of these cods rely on their take every year to oh, get yeah. the next year no, going. So some, some of, some of the creators gonna... were not happy either. I mean, but there's nothing else I can do. I mean, a lot of the guys lost some money because they lose their money on the tables. They lose money from not being able to sell their books, their signatures, their artwork, their whatever they're they sell. Booked, hotel rooms, yeah. They might yep. Already... All that too. Yeah. So all that oh, money goes yeah. down. For them. So, I mean, I feel sorry for them too on that end. And then also, um, I mean, yeah, it just sucks, but I heard ECC uh, is got rescheduled for August, so that's for as, sure. I think it's important. That's my thing. Is like, it's fine, postpone, do this, but reschedule. The, the world is not ending. We, no. We need to continue functioning as a society in so. a environment where germs exist, because that's mm -hmm. the real world. I, like, you know what I want? I wanted to post up. Uh, I wanted to find the episode of. Uh, you ever remember the episode with Invader Zam where? He gets the special goggles. Yes, and he, and he just, can he see just the germs up. and shit. He's like, yeah, yeah so he's everywhere. Hey, Clay, Clay. <laughs> That's he's what I feel like, like this is right now. It's like suddenly everyone realizes everything is dirty. And now I'm like, well, yeah, everything's dirty. And that's why you clean and wash every day and brush your teeth. And Yeah, but, I know, man. It's fun, though. Uh, what else do we got to cover on our topics since everything's being uh, well, like you said, the stuff. comic book uh, industry, um, I, I haven't heard anything get damaging too much of their end. They're just keeping, like they said, following the rules of everyone else in the world. But Luckily, us uh, geeks I, already I, stayed inside. <laughs> yes. And then, uh, so I heard distributors are still going to be, you know, sending their comics and stuff like that. Um, and then publishers, you know, they can work still kind of from um, from home, they said, basically. Um so, yeah, we're still going to be probably getting our comics every Wednesday, and that's probably the only place I'll be going from my house <laughs> and then coming right back. <laughs> yeah. But once again, you have a kid, so it makes sense for you to, like, 
So and your yeah. and your mother. So it's it's very much like so yeah. There's no one in like my household who's under fifteen or over <laughs> seventy. Everyone's all healthy, so that's yeah. good. So. My mother is maybe our biggest concern because she's like a cancer survivor. Oh, okay, but yeah. She's got she's like the healthiest out of all of us. She's oh, that's like good. The, yeah, she's like I'm the least worried about her. <laughs> so like, yeah, well, um, that's that's um, yeah. As long as I can get my comics on Wednesday, we're good. we're good. The yeah. world, the world, the, the world runs on delivery now. <laughs> Everyone already didn't go outside. You can get everything delivered from Amazon. And shit, you know who's yeah. really affected by this shit? The boomers. <laughs> oh, I know they were. Just oh my god, joking boomers. We they were they were too. making so many jokes about I love that. The one about it. it's like it's a boomer killer virus. Don't say that. It's insensitive. But oh. when I complain about being sick all the time and not being able to afford health care, uh, it's like, <laughs> I just need to nut up. It's like, oh, uh, no, it's funny shit, man. I love the memes. The memes always keep the world. That's how you know the world's not ending yet, because the memes keep coming. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, um, what else then? So, I mean, comics, I mean, I, I'm trying to catch up on some things. Um, I don't know what else here. What else was I going to read that looked pretty good here? Uh, oh, Finger Guns, I guess, look pretty cool. It's, uh, it's from Vault Comics. Two troubled teenagers discover they can manipulate m emotions by firing finger guns. There will be laughs, there will be tears, there will be uncomfortable teen feelings and angst. <laughs> angst? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and chaos. And chaos. <laughs> That does so, sound pretty good. For a second, I was like, finger guns? So they just shoot? But that's mo a more interesting co concept because that reminded me of a manga called Bang. Yeah, I've heard about that one, right? Where he shoots people, right, with his gun, and it's like yeah. actually kills people. It, it's <laughs> funny because it it is it is like that, but that's not the thing. It's like these guys get infected by these techno viruses, basically, from outer space. Oh, okay. It turns okay. them into, like, super advanced robots or whatever the assembly does or doesn't finish. And so now they're like can do whatever you know what i mean they shoot oh, okay. their fingers and stuff and so that's that dude's way is he just points at people goes bang and it's like an air gun that shoots people right in the head so I've, I've always seen down that the meme street. of yeah, it they always that, just show yeah, that bong, one meme where he's just bong. killing everyone i love it because the japanese depiction of it is a bong bong mm -hmm. <laughs> ridiculous bong to be fair that's why english is ridiculous our trip, yeah our <laughs> Oh, no, there's there's that one's actually reminds me very much of Parasite. It's also one of the only Yeah, Parasite was good. I always like Parasite. It ended weird. I hated the ending though for the, the ending, anime. Yeah, the anime ending wasn't as great as the manga ending. The manga ending wasn't all that great either though. I heard that too. It wasn't great either. No. It was it was a good series, not a great ending. Um what I I was going to say the other thing about uh, that whatever it was that I am bang or whatever I'm human what it's originally based off of is one of the only live action adaptions that I've seen that is like actually pretty good hmm. but well, it's mostly, so next yeah oh so sorry I was gonna say next week um, there's a new um, new uh, publisher coming out what's what's the name of them they're called um, Upshot mm. so Upshot's coming out with some like cool comics so the one I pulled for them next week is uh, called Archangel 8 and it's in a world beyond the side of mortals, heaven and hell wage war for the souls of mankind. Principal among gods, legion, are seven archangels written about in religious texts in, uh, for millennia. But there is an eighth arch archangel, sorry, known only from uh, passing illusions and apocrypha, um, who operates under a different code. For, that's his name, I guess. Uh, fighting without God's sanction. He faces the enemy on his own terms and shows just how bad good can be. <laughs> just how bad good can be. Wow, that sounds like a very cheesy 80s tag, but I like it. I, 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 you know, it sounds like uh, The Punisher, but with like as an angel, though, kind of to me. Yeah. No, I mean, it sounds like one of those revenging Avenger G situations. I will say I do like the, uh, I always like when there's new publishers because it shows the industry is doing well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that sounds like a pretty cool one. I mean, I like different concepts like that. I will say that remind that was another one I was I can't remember the name of, but that Korean manga about like a religious thing like that. Kind of reminds me really that. Cool. Yep. Uh, There's an another one they're coming out with too that week. Uh, hmm, no, okay. that's yep. that's a Japanese one. No, that's a Japanese anime, which is also pretty good. Beelzebub's worth hmm. checking out. 
So, and this other one they come out with next week too that I have on my list. Um, it's called Red Border. A young Mexican couple narrowly escapes the Juarez cartel by fleeing across the border into Texas, only to be run down in the desert by the cartel's most brutal thugs. Rescued by a mysterious local who takes them for the safety of his family's ranch, the couple soon realize their hosts have more than just the skeletons in their closet. Trapped in a house of horrors beyond their wildest imagination, the army of assassins on their trail might be the least of their problems. So that sounds good, too. I got that on my list, too. So I was like, okay. Uh, they got a couple other things, too. There's another one called Resistance. Um, I'll have to pull that one up later for you. But, yeah, they got a few things. Um, there's another publisher that's coming out, too, um, which is they're, they're doing different things. And the only way I know about this one is because I want uh, more comics is doing, uh, doing it. But they're called Bad Idea Comics. And uh, I guess they're only going to be um, doing comics at 100 different stores in the uh, states right now. So um, I Want More Comics was one of them. And then I think the one out in Boulder was another one that got on the list. Um, but the way they're doing is they, they're, not, they're really not trying to get to the speculators. They want to uh, – I guess they're not going to do reprints either. Um, they're not going to do trade paperbacks either. And uh, they're only going to let you pre-order for one book. So like sometimes even if you wanted to pre-order, some people let you pre-order as many as you want. You can pre-order 10 books if you want. The, the, the publisher will print those 10 books for you. But um, this one's saying, nope, just one book per person is getting a copy. Um, and that's kind of the way they're going to go with this. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, I, there's something to be said for exclusivity. I mean, there's a whole market strategy behind that. There, that's why it exists. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I've never been the biggest fan or against or for it. The thing about it is when you do have exclusivity, things like that, it actually drives prices up, not down. Yeah, I know, right? That's what's probably going to happen. But no, it absolutely will. They had some pretty cool books that were coming out, though, and I, I think I'm going to sign up for it for my store over there and then I go see them today. I'm, cause always, I like I said, I'm always looking forward for new publishers and new stories and ideas to, to break out of the molds. My yeah. big problem is that's also more things to add to my read list that's always ever expanding yeah, and never ending. Always, and, never, always. and if I ever had time to read it all, I would, but yeah. No, but it's 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 good stuff. Uh, yeah, they're they doing do, no variants either, I guess, too. <laughs> I'm actually cool with no variants because that is actually drives the market insane. Yeah, yes, just, it they does. They just need to like, do less variants. I mean, maybe not none, but just do less. Or let the... There's there's some that I buy. I'm like, oh, I want that variant. <laughs> like some are worth it. Like that Wolverine one, worth it. The, the should there be 20 million variants? Maybe not. Yeah, I know. And like like Spider Woman has. Oh my gosh, so many coming out. Um, let me let me see how many they got. She's got coming out because that one's coming out. I think in two weeks now. Uh, or something like that. You see, and I like her new costume. New costume looks pretty cool. I thought it looked fine. I mean, it's pretty, still pretty reminiscent of her old costume, which is what yeah, you have just to different do. colorway. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see here. Spider Woman, Spider Woman, where are you? Nope. Dang, it's not coming out even then. When the heck does it come out? Hold on. Let me look this up. I probably skipped it already. Well. Other than that, that's kind of all I know that's going on in the comics. I don't know if there's anything else. Um, I mean, are you looking forward for the Emp uh, Empire book storyline? I, I guess? mean, that'll be cool, but it's not something that's big on my list. Like I said, I have so much other stuff coming on that it's just like I'd rather got to get through all the House of X, or not House of X, but just all the X-Men shit stuff. Oh, my gosh. I saw, But you know what, Jenna, I was reading up on with uh, X-Force, and I was, oh, X-Force is getting good. good I, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. It's like I'm slowly getting through them all, and they're all pretty decent, honestly, but... With a couple exceptions, the, the, yeah. the Angels one is just weird. But that one was weird. I'm kind of glad they're. Are they? I think they're ending that yeah, one, they're right? Ending it, uh, not and really they're going to replace it with uh, no. Hillian. Yeah, something else. I don't remember what they're doing. Is uh, that or Because she's in that team, and then um, I think Cable is in that team too. The... Oh, but, so it comes uh, out March 18. But geez, really? yeah, Jesus, I see like 27 variants so far for me. That's. That's so crazy. there's a there's a one out of 100 hidden gem there's a one out of 200 which is dumb i hate the one out of 200 one which is it's just a web variant it literally is just red with some web in the background and right, then they have yeah. one out of 25 variant for bruce tim 
one out of 25 for Carrie Andrews. That was a pretty good variant. I actually really wanted the one out of 25 for Peach Momoko, who's like the hot artist right now in the game. Everyone's liking her. And then they got like so many store exclusives. They did an Adam Hughes variant, which looked okay. They did an Alex Ross one, did his own. They did another Alex Ross one he did. Um, actually, I'm going to get the Art Germ cover because, like I said, I always pick up Art Germ stuff. And then uh, they got a Michael. Oh, wow. They have a Michael Turner version variant that's coming out from Aspen Comics. Wow. Okay. Uh, rest in peace, Michael Turner. That's the guy who um, did, um, I think he did Darkness in the very beginning. Really? That's yeah, he was the artist. Um, but, yeah, he was a really good artist. He, yeah, he passed away of uh, health complications. And then, um, let's see, then they got a blank sketch variant. Then they got the Chip Kid die variant, which he's been doing, like, these um, die cut variants where, you, you know what a die cut uh, is, right, where they kind of, like, cut the actual. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then you, you lift in, it's, like, a whole different picture in the background or whatever. Yeah, so he's doing those. Um, they got a, coll a collage variant. Then they got, oh, yeah, Derek Chu just announced he came out with a variant. And Derek Chu has two different versions of it. One that's the version and one with the trade dress on it. And then we have, oh, my gosh. Then we have a Del Auto Fan Expo, Dallas Expo exclusive cover that just got pushed back. So that's yeah, actually so not happening. So that's not going. <laughs> and, um, oh, I did actually get this one, too, the J. Scott Campbell variant. Then they got the, uh, I can't say his name. He's a Chinese artist, but he's pretty popular. The Jing Hyung Young uh, variant. Then they have the Rena Gonzalez Sanctum Sanctorium uh, comic exclusive variant. Oh, my gosh. Ron Lim variant, Todd Knack variant, Tyler Kirkman variant A, and Tyler Lee Kirkman variant B. Fried yeah. shrimp, bull shrimp, grilled shrimp, <laughs> shrimp, shrimp. Whatever, whatever kind of shrimp, shrimp you want, we all got kind of shrimp yeah, you I like. I think that's pretty much everywhere there is the bread, bull <laughs> shrimp, a cookie shrimp right there. But uh, have you been reading Batman then besides that? Uh, all this, yeah. Uh, punk yeah well, stuff? That, it's been, and it's been good. It's got the whole Alfred, uh, you know, aftermath stuff and the. He's, is he still dead then from what happened on the... Uh, I think he is. Because I actually got that uh, issue when they when they killed him. <laughs> yeah, which is a good issue. It's a good issue. It's honestly... It's it's very powerful. But then you go to the next issue and they kind of downplay it very heavily and don't play it up yeah. again until after the whole arc is done. It's actually that, a that's decent time, bit of Tom King's run, I think, still from right there. And then, because uh, I think James Tinian didn't came in, come in until issue 88, I think, of yeah, Batman. Yeah, he was pretty recent still. It's not that long ago that he started his run. Yeah, so just, just, so it was 88, and then yeah, he came out with... I actually just got 89, finally, but I got a second print. That was the See, one I that... I don't think I've read 80... Get. It's either 89 or 90 that I haven't read. Yeah, 89 is the one that they showed um, Punchline, and it's not even really that much... It's just like a little, and the artwork that James or whoever James Tinian got to do with him on the artwork, fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> it's good. I like it. I don't. I guess maybe it's just because I don't normally read DC stuff, and I'm just like, you this is check pretty out good. Some more stuff. Yeah, they do good stuff. Like I'm always, you know, up talking Marvel, but they absolutely. Oh yeah, see, like here it is. Here's here she is right here at the very end, basically. That's literally what everyone was going crazy for was just her mouthpiece right there and her talking. I mean, I I, I think it's okay to go crazy over that because it's a teaser. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's it's, supposed a, it's to be a little like cameo. A, and that's before you know. It. But like now that you know, it'd be like it's cool for a cameo, but it's not much. Uh, speaking of, I think we're pretty much running low on time. Here. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah. Well, is uh, there anything else that you wanted to talk about before we get off here? Um... I'm trying to think off the top of my head. We've done comics. We've tried to cover the movies. We've talked about the current state of things. Uh, there was, like I said, I've been on the anime kick and the main kick, but there was some talks of how this is going to affect that community as well. More so in like the just the voice actor roles, I guess. And stuff. Yeah, I was curious how that was. I mean. I mean, they don't, they're, they're not really in, like, a big... There's not a lot of people when they do voice acting, right? It's just, like, one guy no, in the but booth. It is, and... But it's a very enclosed areas and stuff. And the yeah, thing is that's they're true. They're going to have voice actors do it from home, though, I guess. Okay. I mean, if, I mean, honestly, you can do most of your work from home. I mean... 
Yeah, unless nowadays you, you don't something. need yeah. the fancy old, you know, setup or anything anymore. You'd be surprised how many people do things from home now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, uh, they're, they're, and that's I've always been a proponent of that of like yeah dude I'll just do it in the basement but it, you know <laughs> what I mean like I have always been but uh nowadays it is with the technology and stuff it's easier to be a graphic designer and a, and oh, a yeah. musician and a, any anything really that you want to do uh, so, but yeah I think that's pretty much all I've got to go over yeah. unless you got something else you want to touch on no not too much I mean I even still got to read that Wolverine book and Oh, I, I I still wanted to check out this Marvel Voices book. I heard that the spider that bit uh, Silk and Peter Parker is introduced in here. That'll be interesting. And then uh, they introduced the new um, those new um, X Men characters that uh, what were they called again? Uh, the, the the ones that look literally like not rip offs of the other characters, but um, let me see if I can find it really quick for you. Oh shit! Yeah, this is a pretty cool story. There's a story with the Joe Fixit in here. <laughs> it's like a little uh, anthology story. Yeah, I like when they do anthologies, honestly. They're well, look, they did a well mosaic good. story. I haven't heard about him in a while. Right? He hasn't taken the front spot in a minute. Yeah, At least they for... remember that, that they have those characters. <laughs> right. Oh, they're just like, we didn't. We just forgot about him. And they, I mean, he didn't really do too much. They try to make him big, but he didn't really get too big. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else here unless... Uh, Miss Ed, you had anything else? Uh, I think that's all. And uh, it was pretty good. We covered a lot of stuff. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. It's been Comic Convos, episode 102. And we keep on rolling. And hopefully we'll be back either next week or the week after with some more news, depending on how much stuff. That's the other reason we didn't do anything last week. There was no news. And there was a virus yeah, I mean, scare, and there was a, you know what I mean? Yeah, there hasn't yeah. been much news, yeah. It's been a lot of lockdown, so hopefully next week there's more news and less lockdown. I mean, just the Shang-Chi stuff with that comic, that's all that's coming out, that's all I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, because they're going to do the new movie, but and but other than that, oh, and I heard if you want, go look up the set photos for it, because I guess the Mandarin's in there. I did hear about that, That's a, which is interesting. I so, yeah, if you guys want to check that out once we get off. So, but, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. All righty, and I think we're good. All right. Well, sounds good.